Tonight in Cascade County, where a woman is dead after a motorcycle crash. According to MHP, the crash happened on Jefferson Street in Sun Prairie just after 630 yesterday evening. The 42 year old woman on the motorcycle was heading east at a high rate of speed. She slid the bike on its side, hit wooden curbing and a steel post and was thrown off the bike. She was not wearing a helmet. Alcohol and speed are believed to be factors in the crash. Well, the end of the year will mark the end of an era for Glacier National Park. There will be a new person in charge in the new year. MTN Sean Wells spoke to the man leaving the position after nearly a decade. Glacier National Park Superintendent Jeff Mao is set to officially retire at the end of December. After 33 years working in the National Park Service, including eight years right here at Glacier. Mao tackled several challenges during his tenure, including the reopening of the Sperry Chalet after the historic building was mostly destroyed by wildfire in 2017. Mao and his team also worked tirelessly to fight overcrowding problems at the park's West Glacier entrance, implementing a ticketed entry program guaranteeing access to the popular Going to the Sun Road. Really been able to uh, set things up well in terms of how we think about visitor use management. I think we learned a lot last year doing ticketed entry. You know, whether it looks exactly the way it did last year, I don't, I don't know. The team that's there is, is looking at that hard. Mao says he's pleased with his time spent building strong community relationships that will last for years to come. I think our relationship with the Blackfeet tribe and, and some of the initiatives we have to work more collaboratively on some um, Issues of common interest um, are, are greatly improved. Mao has spent the last six months on special detail acting as regional director for Alaska National Parks. He says he's most proud of being part of a great team at Glacier, relying heavily on that team while he's been away. I look back, it's really creating the team, uh, the staff um, that are able to, to take on those issues, to be adaptable and flexible. Uh, because a lot of these challenges require kind of a quick pivot uh, to move in new directions quickly. And um, I'm just I'm just really proud of the team that's there. Mao says wanting to spend more time with family made this the perfect time for his retirement. You know, I've got got a, a, a father who's, who's 98 and still living on his own. And, you know, I just feel like uh, I visited recently and realized, you know, I don't I don't make enough time to. to to spend with them. And, you know, I think uh, given given what we've seen over the past few years, we realize just the value of families. Mao expects a new superintendent to be appointed this coming spring. In West Glacier, Sean Wells, MTN News.